So brand new out of the box with your Canuck Hunter 3 inch inertia or your 3.5 inch Hudson. Uh, this is what the gun will look like. The very first thing we're going to do is press the silver tab here, which is the shell release lever. And that will allow us to draw the bolt to the rear and lock the action open and verify that the gun is empty so there's nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine tube. Because this is primarily a hunting gun, the very first thing we're going to do after that is verify that the magazine tube is correctly plugged. So you can do that by unscrewing the magazine tube cap. And verifying that the plastic magazine tube plug is indeed installed. This is what you'll see on the Canuck 3 inch Hunter Inertia. And this is the plug that you'll see on the three and a half inch Hudson. So we'll reinstall the magazine tube cap. You'll meet some resistance and you'll feel the cap and hear it ratchet down as it bottoms out against the barrel. At which point it's properly tightened down to retain the barrel. So beyond that, when you're out in the field and you need to load the gun, the first thing we're going to do is have the action locked open to the rear. We're going to place a round in the ejection port and then we're going to press the front portion of the action release button which will chamber the first round. Subsequently you can feed the ammunition into the magazine tube underneath and you can do that for as many rounds as possible. Uh, of course being that this is plugged for hunting it will be uh, uh, two rounds in the tube and one in the chamber for a maximum capacity of three rounds. Uh, assuming that you've now wanted to unload the gun or you're in the blind and you want to clear the gun completely, uh, you have a round chambered, so the first thing we're going to do is draw the action to the rear to extract the round that was in the chamber. Now, at this point, there still will be or could be ammunition in the magazine tube, so we're going to again press the silver tab, the shell release lever. That will allow the round to feed out of the magazine tube, and if you rack the action again, it will feed that round into the chamber. So draw the action to the rear once again, and the next round will come out. Uh, you can follow that same method of operation until the magazine tube is completely empty, at which point if you press the shell release lever once again, you can draw the bolt to the rear and lock the action open. 